Welcome aboard the Serena 58. Dan's my name, I'm here with my colleague Rowan, and we're the Australian and New Zealand importers of the Serena brand. We're gonna take you for a bit of a walkthrough. I'm gonna focus on some of the features of the boat. We're up here in beautiful, sunny Queensland, mid-winter's day, as you can tell. We're gonna take the boat for a bit of a drive out in the ocean. Hope you enjoy. So that was a really educational experience. Here at EYachts, we've always, we've always had a real focus on hull design and underwater profile. Having experience with other power boats that are, that are exceptional in offshore conditions, we weren't about to take on a brand that didn't live up to the same standards. Uh, and, and funnily enough, everyone within our team comes from a sailing background. So it wasn't just a, a power boat focus that we applied to our thought process. It was also one of sail racing and cruising when we came to the search and eventually happened upon Serena. And yeah, I, 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 was, I was impressed. Um, we knew by the, the shape of the cutting bow that this would be a capable vessel, but, but now I know um, that it absolutely is. Um, having experienced it in what was, you know, quite windy conditions. We had um, gusts easily up to 30 knots. Uh, the boat handled it beautifully. We were comfortable driving from this lower helm position, um, hitting the odd wave, going out through uh, the breakwater there. It just slices through. So yeah, this is, this is a boat, this is the boat you would have wonderful days out, wonderful weekends, really enjoy short trips on a boat like this with, with small or large numbers, but at, in the same breath, you will think nothing of packing her up, loading up the fridge and heading north, um, or heading south for that matter. The Serena 58 is a really good boat to step up to. Not only is she easy to use short-handed for those you know, short day trips just with you and, and your closest friends or family, but this is a boat that's capable of taking you long distance, doing lots of exploration. This Serena is gonna give you plenty of options. I'm back here on the aft deck, and just to quickly take you through, um, one of the, what I believe is most relevant features for us Aussies is this huge sun protection. So um, the aft deck is massive for a 58 footer and everybody is fully protected from the sun and the rain, which is, you know, essential. Um, just going around, I'll, I'll try to cover everything and try not to forget. We have side access on both sides, just here, cockpit drain, We've got a small little storage locker here. That's gonna be for ropes because we have the Lofrens winch just here. This is the operation for the stern platform just here. This is your stern gate just there. Uh, we've got the fixed dining table here, which is nice high gloss varnish. You can easily accommodate six to eight people around this table. I'll sit down just to give you a feel. There's covers for all the, uh, all the upholstery, so this does not need to be removed at the end of the day. There's a cover that just goes straight over it. We've got down lights all the way around, 10 down lights in total. We've got uh, fusion speakers as well. This is your access to the engine bay, which Rowan is gonna talk about in detail but that is one solid hatch. Five step ladder, just gives you a feel for the volume down there. 
So we'll head up to the flybridge now. I guess the most important thing is it's not a ladder, but deep steps, secure handholds all the way around and some courtesy lights. So come with me. This is me simulating having a shower because on the Serena 58, I can have a shower. Up here on the flybridge, we got masses of space. You could put four sun lounges just here and have space for more. I just think that's a, a super cool feature. This is the optional hard top, which every Australian's gonna want. And it's got a wonderful opening sunroof upstairs. One thing worth noting about all these Serena boats is this whole superstructure is made from vacuum infused carbon fiber. So the center of gravity on these boats is very low. So it doesn't have a tendency to move around thanks to the construction. Just here is our entertainment station, barbecue and sink, fridge, storage, which is a bit of a theme as we walk around up here. Safety rails all the way around. You can close this just here so you don't lose any kids down the stairs. Ice maker, more storage, and underneath all these seats is a lot of extra storage once again. So as I said, it's a bit of a theme. So you got the option to eat up here and enjoy the view. This is a wonderful spot for your sunset drinks. And underway, I can see myself falling asleep right here because this is just fantastic. You got space for three people, no problem. Helm station, it's a duplication of the lower helm. We still have the reversing camera there. Visibility is really good. And importantly, you've got space for a partner to join you at the wheel. Obviously you could wrap this area in clears uh, look, I'm of the personal opinion that, that why bother when you can go downstairs and drive from there, but uh, the choice is yours. So operation of the lower helm door is really easy. Just press that button, it'll release four locks and then push and open. Simple as that. Anyway, we'll go downstairs and we'll start going through the accommodation. So we're gonna start with the master cabin. Um, the first thing I can't help but notice is all the little details, you know, the Serena Yachts logo in the floor there, which is really nice. And coming in, huge island bed, as you can see, picture windows on either side with blinds. On the port side, we've got this vanity area, which even automatically turns these lights on. Um, some storage, large drawers, three drawers just here, hanging, and full size hanging below you even have a safe. Probably shouldn't have told you where that safe was, but anyway. Um, this is super cool. That's just a little sensor that just goes in there. You don't even need to touch it and put your fingerprints on. Got some more drawers on either side of the bed. Um, little space for your phone and wallets and then all your other larger items below. Moving around on the starboard side. This is all mirror image of the port side, but we have this nice little lounging area just here. Moving forward. So here we are in the master cabin ensuite, a generous ensuite. Um, it's worth noting every single one has a rain head shower. It's got a toilet with bidet, and we've got a, a very large sink. Storage, there's loads is the answer more behind the sink. 
and even soap dispensers, nice towel holders and opening windows for ventilation. Moving forward, in the middle of the boat, we've got the guest cabin. Two singles, as you can see, quite a large storage hanging locker just here, bedside table, charging for your phones, couple of shelves, uh, air conditioning and a window for ventilation. One of the great things is we have private access to the day head. So if you just go through this door here and you'll see I'm in the day head. Now this is a wet head. So if you didn't want to shower in this one, you could always use one of the other heads on the boat, but it's nice to have the option. Here we are in the forward VIP. Once again, an island double bed storage all the way around and in this cabin we've got hanging lockers on either side as you can see next to the bed we've got 240 volt plugs usb and operation of the lights we also have the reading lights and the fancy lights up on the bulkhead just there there is an emergency exit up here and a very generous ensuite timber lined floor teak in the shower rain head bidet on the on the loo and nice vanity area just here